yo guys, look at this shit. So I, I like load up an unranked random battle just to like get the screen formatting like correctly before I record. This guy got fucking Rush Ram, that Pokemon's in his name, and he's still forfeit in unranked random. Like, come on, man, at least let me get my warm up game. Anyways, hello, yes, I'm recording, uh, uploading a YouTube video. It's crazy, I know, it's like, what happened? It's been like months. I just, I don't know, been like very unmotivated. I've been actually focusing a lot more on VGC than um, OU this gen so far, because OU to me has been kind of boring. Um, but you know, I've been playing it a little bit more. I found like a fun gimmick that um, I want to use, and so I figured I'll do a video on it. Definitely gonna do some VGC videos um, recently, or not recently, <laughs> gonna do some VGC videos um, in the near future. I got a draft league coming up in my um, Discord server, so if anyone here is interested in draft leagues, looking to start on March 1st, join the server, the link's down below. Anyways, um, yeah, so, like I said, fun gimmicky thing. I'm running a team with uh, Trick Ring Target Rotom Heat. So the idea, idea behind this team is um, it, it, everything kind of goes towards Toxtricity just sweeping in the end. Modest Scarf is like fast enough. It's slower than Dragapult, which is really annoying, but like it's still really strong because it's modest and punk rock boosting overdrive and boom burst and stuff like that. So yeah, the idea is, um, you know, we can ring target, swap, um, you know, we can we can trick Pokemon like uh, Excadrill and Seismitoad ring targets. Maybe not Excadrill because that thing's faster than me and it can just earthquake me, but whatever. Excad Seismitoad's the big thing for sure because no one's switching Seismitoad out on Rotom. So give it a ring target and it dies to overdrive, which is pretty hype. Um, we have... Doug Trio to trap Excadrill because that Pokemon is definitely a problem. Toxtricity just cannot touch it at all. Uh, Cinderace is our hazard control. <laughs> we we don't have Defog or anything, so we're just gonna, you know, flip them back to their side. And um, Aegislash is a uh, good spin blocker. So if I do manage to get rocks up with Dougie, I want to change this set. Actually, I actually don't ever click Memento. I'll uh. Um, fuck, I run Sucker Punch instead. It's a really whack Doug Trio set, I know. This is a really whack team in general, but I don't know. I'm super low ladder in OU because I like don't really play it, so I figure we'll get some fun gimmicky wins. Let's just, uh, let's get some games. Back, first time in several months on the channel. Uh, our opponent has no ground type, so right off the bat, Toxtricity looks really good. Um, Doug Trio is super not doing shit this game. I guess it can trap the Gengar. No, it can't even trap Gengar. Yeah, it, it can kind of trap the Clefable. Um, I don't beat it 1v1 because I'm not banded, <laughs> so actually Doug Trio's not doing anything this game. I guess I can trap the Bisharp, um, but he's not going to lead Bisharp, so. What do I want to lead? Here's the question. Uh, Rotom looks like a really good lead. It doesn't really look like he has anything that can just kill me right off the bat. Um, Toxtricity is a fantastic switch into Togekiss, and I can just fire off a uh, modest um, modest overdrive, so we'll lead this. It is Gengar. Not super surprising. Oh, I don't have Volt Switch on this. Whoops. I thought I had Volt Switch. You know what's cool, actually? I can... Um, I can trick this and then I can hit it with uh, Toxtricity's Overdrive. I'm sorry, with Toxtricity's Boom Burst. I think that's like pretty funny. Um, but I'm just going to Thunderbolt in case he's like sub or something. I don't think I really need Rotom. It's nice for the Corviknight. Um, I don't think he can knock me out unless he specs. He goes into his own Rotom, which is cool. Uh, not going to do too much. do wish I had Volt Switch, but it's, it's fine. It's not in the world. He can definitely just overheat here, so I don't want to go hard into Doug Trio. What's Clefable doing this game? Clefable's on this team mainly to check Dragapults, which he does not have. Uh, it doesn't really look like it's doing much else on this team. Uh, alternatively, I could just Nasty Plot here. Um, he could be Scarf Trick of his own, though. I'm not sure. I don't know. This team doesn't have really great switch-ins to this. Um, I could just T-Bolt again. Th I, obviously, this thing doesn't hurt me. I'm going to go for... Uh, I'll just go for another Thunderbolt, weaken this thing for Overdrive. Why not? See Volt Switches again, but you have no ground type, you have no electric immunity. Did I say I think I said ground immunity earlier. I definitely meant electric immunity, but anyways, he doesn't have one of those, so <clears throat> we just get to click T Bolt again for free. So it goes into Clefable, which is fine. I definitely do beat this 1v1 thanks to uh thanks to the nasty plot. So we're gonna nasty plot up right now. Let's see what his immediate response is to this. Probably wish or something. Oh he gets up his rocks. That's totally fine. I get a big overheat right now. Assuming we connect. Oh, he protected. That's fine. I'm going to overheat again. What's your switch in? Go, go, go Rotom. Go Rotom. See what happens. Go Rotom. I'm definitely going to uh, court change those rocks right back at him as soon as I get a chance. Huge damage on the Rotom. And we can just, uh, assuming we're faster. Do we? Yeah, we went first last time and I'm not max speed. Oh, are we? Am I max? Oh, I am. I'm pretty sure I'm not max speed. Hold on. Did we go first last time? No, he's faster. He's max speed. Okay. Anyways, he goes into his Gengar. Uh, I have Sneak on Aegislash, so that's totally fine. Um, I'm just going to Thunderbolt here again in case he happens to be sub. 
He's not. He's probably the the wisp hex. No, well, he's not. He's not hex, but get some good damage on Gengar. Honestly, I just I don't know, man. I don't have heavy duty boots. Although I'm gonna trick him back anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Clefable's. Uh, I don't want him to click Sludge Wave on the switch. It's the only reason I'm not going Clefable. I'll just sack Rotom. It's fine. Rotom put in like a massive amount of work. It got. Um, it killed the Rotom. Got a lot of damage on Gengar, and we can just go Toxtricity now. Oh, you know what? What if he's Scarf though? He could totally be Scarf. Um, I guess we could go Cinderace and find out if he's Scarf. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cinderace here in Court Change. We'll see if he's Scarf. I, I'm pretty. He's not. He's definitely not Spec, so he definitely can't kill me. Um, so I'm gonna yeah, flip the rocks back over to his side, and uh, if he goes first, then I can Sucker Punch next turn. He might also switch here fearing the Sucker Punch, or if he's not Scarf, he will just switch because I can obviously kill him with Pyro Ball. And he doesn't have a good Pyro Ball switch in either. Um, Clefable is definitely not a great Pyro Ball switch and he's gonna, he's gonna go for it though, um, which is totally fine. I can I'm just Pyro Ball for damage. He's probably gonna get rocks back up, but that does a lot of damage. Okay, he's gonna wish here. Um, did 50. He has to protect or switch. I'm going to... Hmm, can't, really, can't even take advantage of that that much, which is like kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'll just go Aegislash here. The balloon doesn't matter at all. If he's flamethrower, it could be kind of annoying, but yeah, yeah, he's gonna obviously protect here. I can go for Swords Dance right now. Flamethrower won't knock me out, and I will be faster than him, as he wishes. I'm assuming he's gonna want to pass that to uh, Corviknight, right? Corv he's yeah, he has to go Corviknight here. I'll go for the CC, expecting uh, Corviknight to come in. I don't know, I actually don't know how much. Oh, it goes Bisharp! Ooh! Alright, well, I'm glad I clicked that and not Iron Head. Alright, super free kill. Uh, let's see. I can sneak the Gengar. Oh no, my dude. No, what are you doing? Um, This just. I mean, wait, does this just win? I don't think it wins. I shouldn't be. I don't think I'm gonna be. No, I definitely shouldn't be faster than Togekiss. Unless he's like defensive Togekiss. Um. And if he does go Togekiss, yeah, he goes Togekiss. He's not heavy duty boots. He could be Scarf. Flamethrower does knock me out. I really don't want to stay in to find out. Um, especially when Toxtricity is like a pretty free switch in. Um, on the other hand, yeah, I, I mean, he's going to click Flamethrower here, so. I'll just Moonblast. Or sorry, I'll just go click Fable. Yeah, not going to do any damage at all. Um, he's probably going to go Corviknight here, but I can easily wish past the Toxtricity and finally get some shit started. So. I think we won this game. I don't really think there's much my opponent can do at this point. And you know what I just realized I want to do? Uh, since I'm not banded, I'm actually going to change... I saw this earlier, and I used to run this in Gen 7 too. I'm going to change my last move to Screech, so I have a better chance against uh, things like Clefable, since I'm not banded. And he left. So we won that game. Cool. Let's look for another. Didn't get to uh, trick a ring target, but he didn't have any ground types. Ooh, Diggersby. Um, that's not that threatening, actually. I just... Wait... I saw this team. This is a blunder team. Ugh. Actually, maybe not. I don't think he had Como plus Hydreigon. Alright, so Doug Trio is awesome this game. It traps the Cinderace. He's going to lead Como. Oh, I already know he's leading Como. I'm probably going to just lead Clefable. Uh, Como is actually very hard for this team. Um, yeah, there's no point in, in ring target switch, bleh, giving the ring target to um, Diggersby. Oh, this is a good lead. Yeah, I don't have to switch for this either. Um, I can go Dougie, and I'm Sash. As long as he doesn't burn me, I can kill this. Please, no burn. Thank you. And we can. He's not. Okay, well, I didn't think he. I didn't. I thought he'd be like Scarf or something. Anyways, he's dead. Yeah, this is not. We have a really hard matchup this game. Uh, but he has Hydreigon and Coma to come in on Rotom. We have like nothing for Cinderace. That's crazy. Oh uh, man, um, let's see. Go Tox here. Fire off a boom burst, get a little bit of damage on something. Uh, as a Cinderace does not die, unfortunately. Uh oh. Wow, this team's super Cinderace weak. Uh, we're speed tying. He's just suckers, that's fine. I don't want to risk, like, my sucker failing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go go Fable here again. I don't think there's a way to win this game, though. Like, Cinderace just came out and destroyed everybody. I definitely could have tried to, like, 50-50 him with, um, with Doug Trio, with, like, Stealth Rocks and just clicking that and, like, trying to beat Soccer Punch, but, like, that's not reliable. 
So this is definitely, um, this is definitely scary. <laughs> Uh, but we are Balloon, which is really nice. Um, hopefully, really hoping he's banded right now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna Sword Stance here. Okay, he goes Vaporeon, that's good. And I'm really hoping this does enough damage, because if it doesn't, we are in a little bit of trouble. Does not do enough damage. Maybe I should have SD'd twice? Eh, yeah, I probably should have SD'd twice. That's fine. Alright, yeah, this game's over. There's nothing we can do here. Root. Close all these windows real quick. All right, so I really, I just want to, I just really want to ring, um, trick a ring target onto Seismitoad. That's really all I want to do. I was getting a lot of games with Seismitoads earlier because it's <laughs> top four right now. Ah, uh, no ground type. Oh no! Nope. All right, we're not playing that game. Cool. All right, nice. Moving on. Um. Okay. So, oh, he has Cloister, which is super annoying. Again, no ground type. I'm just gonna lead Toxtricity since there's no ground type. Yeah, I don't really see a reason not to. He leads the goon. Um, I am definitely way faster than this. And uh, yeah, he's no... I guess his uh, Coma O could definitely be soundproof. Sludge Wave definitely is not going to kill Obstagoon. Um, I'll Boom Burst if he, um, if he does go Coma O. First of all, the Coma O actually has to be soundproof. It, I mean, I'm sure it will be, but it does have to be soundproof. Bulletproof's like not bad on it, though. Um, and if he does go Coma O, I can just go into my Clefable. So it's not the end of the world if he goes coma. Oh, so he's going to parting shots. Okay. Wait. Oh, so he's like scarf. Yeah, he's hella scarf. That's pretty cool. Scarf goon. Which means he's also probably defiant. Not that it matters. I don't have defog on this team. As he does go coma. Oh, let's see. Are you soundproof? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be soundproof? And we can go Clefable here. It's going to get up his rocks, but it's fine. Since we're scarf, there's not much we can do about it. He doesn't know that we're Scarf, though. <clears throat> he might expect Specs, so I might be able to catch him off guard with that later. So he goes straight for the Flash Cannon. Doesn't do any damage at all. Throw a Wish up. He's probably going to go into Cinderace. Or Flash Cannon again. I don't think Cinderace would be a good play, though. Okay, as he goes Vaporeon. I could, yeah, I'm just going to go Tox on that. <clears throat> Hopefully he just Scalds. Yeah, he does just Scald. Does a lot of damage. Not anymore. And uh, we are going to just Volt Switch here. Get a little bit of initiative. Yeah, again, he think he probably thinks I'm Specs. He he really should switch here. I guess he could have Protect, but like you still you don't want to take a Volt Switch even from a Specs Toxicity, you know? Yeah, he's gonna go Como. Good play. Kind of had to, I feel. Um, and we just go right back out into the Fable and uh, fire up a pretty free Moonblast now. Hopefully he stays in. I don't think he will. He can just go Cinderace or his own Vaporeon. I kind of wanna make a double to like keep the initiative i kind of want to double into tox but <clears throat> but if he stays in i'm definitely in a lot of trouble well if he stays in he would flash cannon nah but he could, like tox isn't really doing anything to come off so i think Moonblast is fine here as he goes for clangorous soul i do not think that was the play thank god i didn't go into tox <laughs> that could have been really bad uh you're not gonna take this yeah even with plus one special defense so i don't know what he was thinking there but we will definitely take that and um Let's see, what's he going to now? Cinderace is good. Even Hatterene is pretty good to an extent, assuming it's Assault Vest, which we're about to find out if it is Assault Vest. Uh, we're gonna get a Wish Up as he goes for the Mystical Fire. That might be Specs, actually? That's a lot. And I am specially defensive, mostly specially defensive uh, Clefable. In fact, you know what? We're gonna find out if that is Specs. We're gonna find that out real quick. Yo, the damage calc needs a dark mode, honestly. Hatterene. 252. They're definitely plus that. And let's see. Mystical Fire. You're not specs. Oh my god. You're like all sorts of specs, aren't you? 35 to 41 on specs. That did 39. Yeah, definitely specs. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna protect here. Get some HP back. Um and yeah, I can go. Let's see, I can go Rotom or I can go Cinderace. How much? Hmm, he's bulkier. Well, obviously wrote him. I don't have uh we doesn't have a, a T bolt switch in though. Oh, but he's gonna be lowering my special attack, so maybe he doesn't need one. I'll wish again, just so I can get a uh, a freer switch as he goes into the goon. Um but that's totally fine because again you're gonna like parting shot. Uh, again, this is just free chip, I don't I don't really care. I know that the um Okay, so I could actually I don't wanna go toxicity in case he decides to attack, right? That would be really bad. 
I'm just gonna Moonblast. Yeah, he's obviously Parting Shot, but I'll take the, the little bit of chip that I'm gonna get on, you know, whatever happens to come in. It's probably gonna be Vaporeon. I'm minus two special attack right now, but as since the Hatterene can't two-hit KO Clefable with Mystical Fire, I can just protect when Hatterene comes back out. Does it go Cinderace now? That's fine. I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna wish again. Pass a wish into... I don't know. We'll, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. Let's get the wish up first. He might just U-turn. Oh, he doubles into Vaporeon. All right, I'm gonna go Toxtricity now. I got the wish up. We're chilling. If he doubles, that's a really good play. But um, I don't think he will. Yeah, Scald. Gets the burn. Not the end of the world. Now I, I don't see a uh, Overdrive switch in at all. So we're just gonna go straight for that. Give me this damage. If this doesn't kill, I'll be severely disappointed, but it should kill. We're essentially life orb boosted, modest. We got like 360 special attack. Um, Vaporeon should die. I don't think, and obviously Cluster will die. <laughs> Never mind. He's like specially defensive, I guess. But he can't take another one, which is good. We are, oh, he can. No, he can't. What am I talking about? Yeah, he definitely can't take another one. So we will get a KO here. Cinderace probably eats this. Hat definitely eats this, but um, yeah, wow, that did a lot. Actually, I'm just gonna boom or overdrive again. I know I'm faster. That did a lot. <clears throat> All right, Toxtricity putting in work now. Nice, I like to see it. Vaporeon can't take another. Probably can't take a uh, Boom Burst either, which is cool. I'm assuming, either, well, yeah, either Cinderace or Obstagoon are coming in next, and it is the Cinderace. So let's see. Um, I don't want to go Cinderace. I don't want to let him get his Cloister into Shell Smash, right? That's the... That's the big thing I'm trying to avoid. Although H Slash might be able to beat that one on one, I'm not sure, but. Um, let's see. Again, he doesn't know him Scar. Actually, at this point he might know him Scar. He could Sucker Punch here. Um Damage on Cinderace is really nice, though. We've seen like how much of a threat this Pokemon is. Uh, and I don't want him to U-turn. If he suckers, I just go Doug Trio and trap him. And then uh <laughs> lose to Cloister. Actually, no, I guess I can just have to quake it. So I'll go for the overdrive here. Yeah, he, I guess he didn't think it was Scarf. Get some nice damage on Cinderace. But now this is dead. I can, uh, yeah, just click Earthquake. I really wanted to, I should have put Rocks up, actually. Because the Sucker Punch was so obvious. But, it's fine. Vaporeon does not, or, um, what's it called? Um, Cloyster does not come out, which is nice. He is going to heal up his Vaporeon, uh, which is definitely an issue. But I will, uh, be able to, let's see. I'm actually going to Screech first. Hopefully I don't miss. No, I need Rocks up. Oh, he's going to forfeit. Okay, cool. Oh, his name is Fargus. That's cool. Shout out to Three Houses. Best game ever. Um, that game was definitely very, very winnable by my opponent. Cloyster definitely could have beaten me at like any time. Um, mainly why I needed to keep Aegislash healthy, but keep going. We'll keep it going. Damn, it's been 20 minutes already? How'd that even happen? We got like, what, three games, four games? I don't know. Anyways, all right. Excadrill. Um, not ideal, but we'll take it. Uh, he's probably definitely going to lead the Excadrill too. Uh, I kind of want to lead Dougie. He really should. I think he's going to lead Dragapult, actually. God, fuck Cinderace, man. <laughs> this Pokemon's... I wasn't running into Cinderace when I was uh, playing with this team last night, so I didn't realize how huge of an annoyance it is. Um, I'm going to actually lead my own Cinderace, because if, if he does lead Excadrill for some reason, I can just U-turn and trap it with my Dugtrio. Uh, let's see. As he leads Excadrill, which I think is, like, poor, but whatever. We just get a free U-turn. He's gonna get rocks up, but that's fine. He's definitely Sash, but, again, very fine. I'm not even gonna bother... Oh, he actually switches. Oh, that's gonna take a lot. That didn't take that much. Uh, but yeah, Clefable. I do not see a good, uh, Clefable switch. Oh, no, he's a... Who is Corviknight, but I flamethrower on this. I don't know how much Facade does to me is the problem. It's either Clefable or Tox. I'm just worried about this being Scarf again. Like, that would be really annoying for me. I think Clefable is the safest play. If he wants to go into one of his Steel types, I can play him through it. All right, he's not, uh, he's not, um, what's it called? He's not Scarf, which is good. Facade's going to do a lot. <laughs> Facade's going to do so much damage. And this is my main Dragapult check, so maybe I don't want to just let that happen for free. Uh, after Burn, he'll be... <sighs> it's a roll of Earthquake kills after the Burn, so I don't really... Oh, but then I have Reversal. Reversal will definitely kill him. This doesn't get Sucker Punch, right? I'm pretty sure I remember this not having Sucker Punch. All right, do I go Doug Trio to kill this for free? Man, Facade's gonna do so much damage. 
And it, they, I can't go Aegislash Slash because he just clicks knockoff next turn. I, yeah, I need my Clefable healthy. Oh, he doubles into Corviknight. Definitely not what I was expecting. Not at all. But that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to go into Rotom here. He might U-turn. I'm really surprised he uh, switched out Ops again. But, yeah, whatever. All right. He goes for the uh, bulk up. We're going to Nasty Plot. Alternatively, no, 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 Nasty Plot is definitely the play. I'm assuming if he's U-turn, he's definitely switching here. Maybe I should just free Overheat. I don't know. I don't think it kills. I'm going to Nasty Plot. Because, like, the damage I would just not have on Dragapult's, like, not the end of the world. As he does go Dragapult. Um, I don't think anything this does can actually knock me out. Part of me actually wants to trick this so I can... Oh my god, I actually really want to trick this so I can, um... First of all, get rid of its specs. Maybe not specs. Alright, we're gonna see what item you are. Also, I can boom burst him now. He's leftovers. So he was a, 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 a defensive variant, which is pretty neat. Uh, he's gonna U-turn this turn 100%. Can the next Draco even kill me? I don't know if the next Draco actually kills me. 75, half of that's like... Less than, uh, eh, it can probably kill me. I'll go Clef here. <clears throat> we don't lose much by going Clef. I see will o -Wisps, but we are going to super take the Hex, like, for free. I'm actually going to try and Wish Pass into uh, something as he goes into his bird yet again. Um, I'm going to attempt to get my Rotom in. Yeah, I'm going to try and get Rotom. I don't think a neutral body press will knock out Rotom from that range, because I, well, it might. We're going to find out. I'm not sure. As he doubles to Cinderace. Hey, we got a full health Rotom. We're chilling. And this is a free T-Bolt right now. Power Bolt, yes. Oh, he is banded. He is mega banded. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a roll to knock me out. Uh, once again, as long as he doesn't burn me, though, Doug Trio will kill him. Please don't burn me. And I know you're banded. Good. All right, this one is... If this isn't banded, then I'm a fish. I'm not about to see Sucker Punch here. Good. I was like, there's no way. There's no way this isn't banded. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> um, and I'm faster than his whole team. So I can either get up rocks, or if Cloyster comes out, I can just get a little bit... I can actually reverse a little bit, which will do a lot of damage, because it's going to be 300 base power on it. Uh, unless he's Ice Shard, but then he's not, you know, doing the other thing. It goes Corviknight. I don't know why he keeps going Corviknight. I clearly have a Rotom right there. So I... Oh, it's 400 base power. Yo, I wonder how much that does. I kind of want to click it. Is it more important than rocks? Just in case Cloister's Sash, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna get up my rocks here. Yeah, he just knocks me out. Okay, so I'm glad I did that. I am indeed glad that I did that. And let's see, what's the play now? I think I'm just gonna go Rotom and click over, uh, Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt's a little better than Overheat right now. Because again, I don't want to give Cloister the opportunity to set up. Plus, I'm, I don't think Overheat would... Yeah, Overheat wouldn't knock out uh, Corvin one hit anyways, so... I'll go for the overheat this turn, though. He has to either switch or bank on a miss. <laughs> and Corviknight is gone. Awesome. Yeah, Corv uh, Corviknight... I was right the first time. Corviknight is one of the reasons I really like Rotom Heat right now. Because uh, for those of you who are following me on Twitter, you know that I fucking hate Corviknight. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> uh, he goes into Dagoon. I have to decide what I want to sack here. Because I'm definitely, I definitely have to sack something here. Uh, I can almost win the game with um, with uh, uh, Boomburst. I think I sack Rotom here. Yeah, because that can just Earthquake it. Uh, the T-Bolt, it would be nice to T-Bolt this, but like, eh, you just, I mean, I, can, I have Toxtricity for that anyways at full HP. And Ice Shard won't knock me out. So, yeah, I'm just going to uh, T-Bolt, get a little bit more damage. He, he, yeah, he knocks off. I don't want to lose any items anyways. Um, but I believe Cinderace comes out and just clicks U-Turn now. Let's see. I go Cinderace, I click U-Turn. What do I go into? I think that's fine, because if he, um, so he goes, he would go Drill next. Actually, he might not even go Drill next. Oh, I could go H Slash if he does. Um, if he goes Dragapult, I'm, like, not really worried. I actually really want damage on Dragapult. Um, Toxtricity is also slower than Dragapult, which is really frustrating. Um, I could go Toxtricity here and fire off a Boom Burst. He does not have a Boom Burst switch in right now. Get a little bit of chip on, and once, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. I get chip on Exadrill, and then I go into my Age Slash. Uh, and I kind of want Toxtricity to, like, do something, since this was, like, the main point of it. So, I'm going to click that Boom Burst. going to knock out the Goon. And he should go um, Excadrill here. I don't think Draco knocks me out, since he's not Specs. I will Calc it. Okay, we're going to we're gonna Calc that. I don't think I die. 
to anything right now. Toxtricity. Dragapult. All out attacker, but you are not. Let's give him a scarf. Draco does 95 max. And Boom Burst, since he is now ring target, does 78 to 93. Oh, oh it's a roll. Damn it. We're going to do it anyways. Even though I have Clef in the back, we're going to... Ah, oh, this would put it in Ice Shard range. Can I lose to Cloyster? That's the question. Can I lose to Ice Shard Cloyster? All right. What if he U-turns? Even if he U-turns here, it's not the end of the world. Because he would U-turn... Because I could Moonblast the Cloyster and it might kill it, to be honest. Or he would go Drill and i just go Age Slash on the Earthquake. So I do think Clefable is the play here. If he's sub-disabled... No, he's not sub-disabled with Draco. That's crazy. That would be crazy as he hexes me. But I am EV'd to never die to that, which is awesome. And I'm just going to Moonblast here. Oh! Well, I'm apparently not EV'd. What happened? That's not... I. He's modest. He's got to be modest. He's a thousand percent. He has to be modest. Yeah. All right. Look. Let me show you. Let me show you what I did. Okay. Let me show you what I did. Right. Check it out. All right. So we have burned Clefable right here. We have. We have. Hex Dragapult. Hex is only supposed to do fifty-two percent minimum. That just did fifty-six percent. So he's modest. That could be okay, however, because. Toxtricity is still fucking... Oh, it's slower because I'm also modest. Awesome. Well, don't you love... You love to see it. Um, now, can I knock him out with Aegislash Shadow Sneak? Shadow Sneak does... Get this burned out of here. 61 to 72. Not quite. How do I not lose to you? Well, I'm going to click Overdrive anyways. Fuck it. <laughs> or Boom Burst, rather. I gave him a ring target for a reason. Man, I was not ever expecting... Like, who runs Modest Dragapult? I'm faster than it! Look at that! I'm faster than him! You don't have Sucker Punch. Fuck out of here with Sucker Punch. I don't know what your last move is, but it sure, ain't, sure as hell ain't Sucker Punch. He's bulky, too. That did 66. He might even just be, like, max HP Dragapult. Yeah, because Boomer is supposed to do 78 min. This is the weirdest Dragapult I've ever... Okay, so he's, like, max HP, max special attack modest but i don't i don't want to talk to him never mind yeah like what <laughs> what yeah anywho um so yeah i can weaken the so he's gonna go drill here yeah for sure he's going drill he's heavy duty boots excadrill what does that mean for me that means i can go h slash and close combat him but if he clicks iron head here i can lose do i need to save toxtricity for anything Oh, what? No, he's not Scarf. Just kidding. All right, let's think. He could Rapid Spin. Oh, he could Rapid Spin. That, yeah, that would be bad, because then if his Cloister is Sash, I'm in trouble. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that was ha that's exactly what was happening there. So we're going to CC this. Don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. Do not flinch me. Do... Okay, good, good, good. That would be tr a tragedy. <laughs> that would be tragic if I got flinched right there. Um, yep, out comes the Cloister. I just click Close Combat once again. And he's dead. Yeah, this was 100% focus Ash Excadrill. So, glad I thought of that. Cool. All right. I think that's pretty good for uh, one one the, my, my comeback video. First video in like 8 million months or something like that. I actually did have like a whole bunch of stuff ready to upload. I had like highlights from like a stream, the like last stream I did and like some tournament matches. I had a really hype um, like game four tiebreaker to move on to top cut against against someone at one of the locals I went to. Like I had a lot of cool stuff. And what happened was my computer crashed and I had to reformat my hard, I had to get a new hard drive. Um, so I had to like redo everything and it like kind of like just like fucking killed my motivation and stuff. But um, yeah, anyways, I mean, we're, we're here. So, you know, I might upload a few things. I'm going to try to, you know, take it slow. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to promise anything, but hit that subscribe button just in case I do decide to upload shit. I'm going to at least upload it like a VGC video or two because I've been playing way more VGC than OU. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.